and so we go to the site and we find out that it's a junior program. I think four students are coming in this year. Okay. Now, if we change over from one, uh, from one book per division to two books per division, what will it expect? Okay. It will expect that the signal will be shown with a with as if it's a smaller amplitude because instead of one book per division, it's now become two books per division. So uh, this goes to two. The signal is shown uh, by two units. Here it is by six units. So this way it will be shown. Sorry, this way it will be shown. Okay. Two into one point five six, right? So like that you can see the value. And as our signal amplitude changes, okay, like I am losing the signal amplitude. So in such cases, okay, I can say it is less than zero. I will be back at zero. And if my signal is too small, okay, then I have to I have a second signal and I will have second signal which I can use to change it. Okay. And uh, now uh, you see that I can change it and then the signal will change. If it's visible, I can say it is going to the right. I can say it is not going to the left. Okay. And then I can say it is going to the right. Okay. Then here I can say it can be one to eight by two. Okay. If I want the signal to come down, then I can say it is also that I can put the amplitude here and it will come down and the signal will come down. And this is a smaller signal. So at that point, it will be less than even bigger in our case. And we can say it is less than zero. That's why the amplitude is two by two. At this point, the signal is less than zero. Uh, so this is the vote per division uh, function. And very similarly, we have some other. And here you see that how to tune the signal. Okay. So here you can see one uh, connector. These are called as VLC. Okay. And this is uh, what I have in my hand is a VLC plug. So one end I have connected to the signal generator and other end of this plug I have put the TV. TV means it's very easy because VLC is a very small connector here. Okay. Then the plug is goes in one direction and then turn it on the right. Okay. So here it will sound and this is very firmly attached to it. This thing don't have contact problems. So even if you move slightly here and there, of course, it will not do. But even if it is done accidentally, the contact will not matter much because it is quite a good connection. And like this, we can tune the second signal also. And let me show a few signals in case it matters. Okay, let me show what we are doing here in this plug. Uh, we are tuning V1 and V2, and the two are not having identical rate of tuning. So I'm just Always the concentration is monitored both the input signal and the output signal. It is that is if you have say a VLC hundred, but you are conducting say a VLC hundred amplifier and your amplifier is two meter. So uh, the output you will not observe as a sine wave. You can see the output as a distorted sine wave or you can see it as a blip sine wave. Uh, so in order to verify that in order to find out that what is you can you keep adjusting the or you have to simultaneously monitor the input and the output. So for that only this thing is used. 
so we are confident in this form and let me also tell you that there is uh, another good partner that we use we are not only uh, you know comparing the similar way output rate form but even you can do phase measurement how you do the phase measurement you see that for uh, both the peaks the identical timing calculation is occurred so if you see that if you compare two hundred and two with two hundred and two is uh, standard way of having to do it okay but uh, supposing the output is eight peaks take with eight peaks take in that case what we can do is that with reference to the input after how many division after how many horizontal division the output rate form started to change you can measure that you can say that what is the time period between that and by using the time period of the rate form okay you can convert that into uh, phase differential measurement right so this is uh, some that what we can do we can have and now i can also show you that how to measure the rise time of the rate form that uh, sometimes whenever we are carrying out the measure we are just having to compare with the input error and we do have to say that uh, some of the input error is there some of the value is there but you will see that uh, uh, you have to measure the rise time of the rate form okay before i go into that let me tell you that uh, sometimes what we need to do is this is a circuit board right here also let me say that supposing we want to study the rate form of the circuit at very low frequency let me say at 100 hertz or something like that i want to study that what what is the rate form coming from the circuit 100 or something like that so what we need to do is to keep the signal from here okay and then observe the output rate form of the circuit from here so you may see that as we keep increasing the frequency after some time the gain of the amplifier will increase and come to zero maybe up to one kilohertz or two kilohertz that is what we need to do right after two kilohertz then the frequency can march up to zero and then we can see okay we can measure that and that is called as the frequency rate form which we will transition to do in uh, few further uh, coming days and the input rate form even let me let me show you if that are coming here we we keep the amplitude of the input coming here and you see that how the amplitude of the output that we get that is called the frequency that is also called as the input rate okay so we have the input this is this is the input that is called as the input rate that is called as the input rate this is the measurement of the input rate okay that is input rate so that is one way of finding the frequency rate form that whenever we are uh, doing the measurement we need to query query those parts of the circuit uh, how do we get that frequency rate form you may you may copy this like an art paper what we have to do just to get the some rise time of the rate form and as a result of the rise time the phase will not be the output rate form of the peak will not be exactly uh, where it is but rather there will be some interim gap i mean that we may be getting the output at the horizon so there will be some interim gap i will need to find and that we can see okay that how much time it takes from 10 percent to 90 percent that is from 10 percent to 0 percent that is what that is what we need to understand why do we go from 10 percent to 90 percent we are not sure right it is the linear growth which we are going to do is the the linear increase that we need from 10 percent to 0 percent we are not sure that is why we are going to go up to 90 percent so how do we go from 10 percent to 90 percent there is no need to be keep measuring with the old circuit in the and try to find out that it's coming from 10 percent to 0 percent we can get those there, there is this facility which is called as the rise time facility that we have at here